Hello, welcome to my channel once again. Now this is regarding cell biology. The molecular structure of the cell will be given to you. Yes, so this is the cell wall, the main part of the cell, which is found only in plant cell, bacterial and fungal cells also. Cell wall is formed during cytokinesis of cell division. They are mainly made up of cellulose in plants and chitin in fungi. Cell wall is the outer covering of the cell membrane. There is something to note. The cell wall may contain deposits of lignin, suberin, cutin, wax, etc. This is the figure of a plant cell which you may be able to see. The cell wall in the bracket it is written, it is freely permeable membrane allowing all the substances to pass through. Now next part of the cell that is called cell membrane or plasma membrane or plasma lemma. What is plasma lemma? What is its function? The primary function of plasma lemma are the following. Number one is protection of the cell from its surroundings. Number two, it is selectively permeable. Now what does this word selectively mean? Selectively means it regulates the movement of substances in and out of the cell. It does not allow all the substances to pass through. It restricts some. What is it made up of? Plasma membrane is composed of phospholipid bilayers. Phospholipid means a lipid mixed with phosphorus group or phosphate group with embedded proteins. Another characteristic, very vital characteristic of plasma membrane is, it is fluid dynamic in nature. Fluid dynamic means, why is it known as fluid dynamic? Because of its transportability, because of its quick repairing ability and the ability to expand and contract. So that's all about plasma membrane. Now coming to parts of the cell, parts of the cell, what are the different parts of the cell? There are mainly two parts of the cell, two basic parts of the cell. One of them are called organelles which have got specific functions in a cell. Another are called cell inclusions which are basically non-living components of the cell. They are mostly crystals or granules of starch, food vacuoles, many other things like that. Coming to the organelles, organelles are the basic substances present in a cell. They are named according to their function. Number one, endoplasmic reticulum. Number two, Golgi bodies. Number three, lysosomes. Number four, mitochondria. Then plastids which are only present in a plant cell. Then comes nucleus. Nucleus has a very vital role to play in a cell. Then ribosome. And then comes centrosome with centrioles. These are only present in animal cells. Now there are special names given to some of these organelles due to their function. As for example, Golgi bodies. Golgi bodies are also called secretory bodies because they secrete all kinds of substances in a cell. Mitochondria, they are called powerhouses of the cell because they supply energy to the cell. Lysosomes are called suicidal bags of the cell. Nucleus has a vital or pivotal role to play in a cell, so it is called brain or director of the cell. Ribosomes are called protein factories and chloroplasts 
are called kitchens of the cell. So that's all for today. Have a nice time. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.